Hey Hi. guys, welcome back to another video, Vicky's Likes. With Sergio, my husband. Yes, sometimes <laughs> she's not in the video, sometimes she is. I wish she was in all the videos. Thank you for all the comments and, oh, where is Vicky? I miss Vicky. Here I am! Yay. <laughs> Anyways, we are back in South Florida. Yes. And we are at the Bonnet House. Can you believe it? For Lived the, here. 50 years, we've never and, come and here. And we never came here. Never. I'm sorry, we keep saying that, but, uh, you know, some places we didn't go to. We've been around, well, not around the world, but, you know, in Europe, in this country a lot. But we miss places in our own neighborhood. I know. But... Let's check it out. This show is supposed to be one of the most beautiful shows, and we're gonna check it out. Come with us. I'm so excited. Let's go see what's here. Oh my gosh. Are you going into the house? It wouldn't take exactly Hello. Oh, I'm going to get one of those. Thank you. Thank you. So this, this is beautiful, guys. We are close to the ocean, the beach. And this is one of the canals or uh, natural intercoastal uh, waters. All right, we're in, we're official. We're official. And? <laughs> and this is the 15th Annual International Orchid and Garden Festival. This is being held Saturday and Sunday, uh, April 6th and 7th. So, uh, you know us by now, we always like going to the right, okay? We, ha we like the right. So, as you enter, we enter that way, we're gonna go this way yes. okay <laughs> this show is great immense we're loving it already and yes. we haven't even done anything i know i'm ready <laughs> i'm ready let's do it let's do it this is dan and margie's orchids and i do remember this booth being at the other show that we filmed last week um in the Flamingo Gardens, and I remember this beautiful pot that she makes, and I was kind of intrigued because it does look antique, and the way that she painted it, just the design in itself all together, beautiful art pieces of look at these ceramic, pots. beautiful. Wow. They're, they're quite busy. And I tell you, look at the price, it's very reasonable for, yes. you know, being a, a ceramic or... Uh, yes. It's just beautiful. Beautiful pieces. And um, she, we spoke to her briefly, and if you haven't watched that video uh, from, from the Flamingo Gardens, watch it, please. And uh, she does the design and everything. Yes. It's really beautiful. Hello. There are a lot of people here. Yes. It was free parking, and you had the option to purchase tickets for um, the house tour. The house tour. And the orchid show, or just the orchid show, correct? Yes. Yes. And this we have is two of our viewers here yes. that we met at the entrance. Yes. And this, this is, is uh, Quest, Quest Orchids. Orchids. Oh, yeah. They brought you a marijuana plant. And I only know, I only, I only could do so many people at a time. Yeah. I kind of got stuck in one area pretty much the entire way. Hey! Hey, you gotta talk to my agent if you're gonna film me, man. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's that, $500 that's dollars you, for slides. That's your agent. <laughs> she said okay. She said okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> See 
have some colors on these plants that I'm a little bit obsessed already. Uh oh. A little bit obsessed. You know how I feel about rose, you know? But, um, it's like the colors are so attractive. This is what we have. Look at this beauty. And then the other one, and then the other one. And let me tell you, when I go and I take a little sniff out of them, oh wow, they smell delicious. It is a beauty. It's beautiful. So, of course, that's a sample plant. And then you have the plants here. If you get a chance next time, I like that he put the picture of the plant yeah. with the name and it's attached to the plant itself yeah. Yeah. that you're purchasing. Look at this beauty. That's white, a beauty there. yellow. Thank you so much. No, I appreciate it. I'm going to take a picture of it. Very nice. <laughs> beautiful vandas. Vandas are beautiful. What? You, Vicky was like. <laughs> this one is, um, it says Beautiful. Where are you? Look at this beauty. I know. It's beautiful. Do you see a tag anywhere? Right over here. Oh, I was going to show you. That's what. That's what we Let me let let me show them how you were doing while I was maneuvering with the camera. <laughs> this is what we have to do, guys. We have to improvise. But it's near here. Okay. Okay. Look at this beauty right here. Yeah. That's so pretty. Very nice. So pretty. These are supposed to be very, very fragrant. Let me see. Let's take a whiff. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is delicious. That is delicious. You want to take a whiff of it? Yep. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. That is delicious. Look at this next door. Or next to it. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. And we'll show you what it is. In the meantime, this is this. And this, I'll go this way. I'm sorry. You know what's catching my eye? That one right back there. This one. Yeah. Beautiful flowers. Big, big flowers. Thank you. Okay, take this. Enjoy the day. 
Very nice. I tell you, I see people with beautiful plants. I know. Look at this. Isn't this nice? The flower oh is a my. little wilted, but... Uh, that is beautiful. Wilted, right? That's how you say it? It's wilting. Yeah. But it's a nice, nice I love the color, color combo here. Yeah. We have some dendroviums here. And we have the vanilla orchid right here. And we have yet to see the flower life. Right? Yes. But there it is. Look at this beautiful art. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Look at these beautiful art pieces right behind me. This is the card. If you wish to get in contact with the person, you can send a message, text. Um, she can uh, speak to you via phone, via text. She does ship in the U.S. And uh, she can send you pictures of what she has available. Amazing, amazing work. Yes. Look at this. Look at this piece here. This is. I love it. It's beautiful. 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 Oh, look at that music! The music yeah. notes. All of these pieces come from Haiti. Nice. The pineapple welcomes to your home. <laughs> That's the meaning of the pineapple, yes. by the way, guys, if Welcome you don't to know. The home. In Victorian times, I think. The pineapple meant welcome to your um, home. Home. That's why many of the furniture had pineapple motives. Yes. And at the entrance of the homes. Look at that. Look at that guitar. We have a music room and we have um, antique uh, or vintage uh, musical instruments on the wall, mm -hmm. so this wouldn't be a, a bad idea. Right. Um, what did they contain? They're 55 gallon steel drums, uh -huh. and they are brought into Haiti with some type of materials in them, okay. like oil or butter. Okay. So after they, they take out whatever that came in it, they sell it to the artists, and the okay. artists would take um, paper and burn whatever chemical that may have been in the drum yeah and after that's done they cut the top they make something like that they cut the bottom and make something like um yeah like this and yes. then the, the body they make the bigger pieces with Very the body nice. of the drum i love it you can and tell here the, the opening that's from the cover right wow Very nice. The colors I love. The colors are very, you know, Haiti is very colorful. Colorful, yes. 
Very nice. Very nice. Thank you so much. I love these. We, we've seen them in uh, Flamingo. So beautiful. And they smell so good. Right? They don't smell? Something smells around here. <laughs> Must be the dendrobiums. Check it out. Love memory fits. Very light, very, very light. We're here at Max Orchids. And we've been following, Mar uh, well, we follow each other, all vendors, we follow each other uh, for the most part. Look at these Ramatophyllums. Ramatophyllums, Ramatophyllums, tomatoes, tomatoes. Right? Ramatophyllums, Ramatophyllums, just tomatoes, tomatoes, right? Very <laughs> Decisions. Should we go this way, come across, go around, go around, come in here? I think we'll do this and then go around. Yes, yes, Alrighty. madam. <laughs> I was going to say yes, sir. Nope. <laughs> yes, madam. No, it's a part of so last week, or last weekend, at uh, the Flamingo Gardens Orchid Show, we've seen this um, lady that we um, bought plants and her son from her. We've been buying plants for years. Very reasonable prices, beautiful phalaenopsis, and other stuff. Do we see a tag on these? How beautiful. Do they smell? Yes. Well, it says fragrant. Let me check it out. Yes, very light. Okay, 45. This place is loaded. Right? Boy. 
Wow. Hi. Separate booths? Separate booths, okay. We're filming for our channel here. Yes. So we're gonna come and showcase both. Look how beautiful these are. What are these? Like mini on stadiums? Yeah. Yeah, right here. Talunia hybrids. Okay. Right, because they've been re reclassified. Look at that mini Vanda. This is a Hello. separate venue. Hi. Hi. The name of your business? This is Wilson Orchids. Wilson I, Orchids? I, th I thought it was cash only. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> from Taiwan? Yes, from Taiwan. Nice. I actually have my own business over there. Oh, good. What's the name of yours? Gemini Orchids. Oh, Gemini. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. We've seen you in the uh, Tamiami uh, oh, yeah. show, yeah. but you guys were swamped, so. Talk, yeah. We do a lot of talks. Uh, yes. We talk to all the societies a lot. And, uh, we're judges, so we do a lot. Okay. Oh, I know, nice. I know. This is our friend. Um, Wilson is our friend. He can't always make it here. I always try to help him out. Good, that's nice. 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 Right across here, we have. Orchid. Thank you, Deb. Bye. Have a wonderful time here at Haunted House, and everyone enjoy. Be good to yourself and be kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank always you so nice much. to see you. Okay. So always nice seeing you. Bye. Bye bye. Right here we have orchids in bloom. Boy, and orchids in bloom is everywhere. This weekend, of course, this video is going to come out um, later on. But this weekend, they're having an event at Orchids in Bloom. And they're also in uh, Port St. Lucie. And which we are going tomorrow. Don't miss that video. Yes. And uh, they are here. So I believe Nick is um, in Port St. Lucie. We have Tomas, very hardworking Tomas, over here covering this show. And you wanted to show me something? Yes, Vicky? look at this beautiful plant here. Yeah. The ones in the back are our sample. We don't sell those. The ones in the sample are the ones in the front. Look at the beautiful and flower here. They're about to bloom here. Beautiful. And you have these. Beautiful. Oh, that smells so pretty. It smells so nice. Does it? So, oh, yeah. Yeah. I think this is the one that Nick showed us uh, in Tamiami. Oh, here's the name here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit stuck in there. Sorry. Oh, yeah. The smell is so delicious. It's beautiful. And all you hear is Tomas, Tomas, Tomas. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. How are you doing? Hi. Guys, great nice job. To see you. Why not? Why I didn't not? See it online. That's the thing. Yeah. I'm going to be there tomorrow. I'm going to be there. So I'm right. just saying hello, okay? okay thank you. Thank you. Good job. Tomas, hard working guy. This is, this is what he was talking about. Oh, that's a beautiful yeah. plant. 
she wanted to know if there was anything like that with bugs. No. Yes. Beautiful. We'll go to the other side. Oh, before we go to the other oh, side. Oh, this is a beauty here. This, this this one is better, right? Oh, yes. This tag. Beautiful plant. Look at this beautiful plant here. Wow. That yeah. is a beautiful it's color. It's up. It's a Hawaiian prominence. Beautiful. Nice. Very nice. This is this this is the same up here, right? Yeah, abierto. Same, yeah. Yep. Sample plant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been selling all day. Oh. People love. Wow. You good? So orchids. So orchids. Yeah, we bought this from him at the Flamingo yes. Garden Orchid Show. Um, I think this is the Ancelia Africana, but we bought um, the other kind. Oh my gosh, that smells like This is a hybrid. It's a beautiful thing. That's not going to power up most of the Oh, it will? It will? I'll make your roots. 
No, it had a big room. They have beautiful stuff, guys. Beautiful, beautiful plants. Yeah. I look like Chuck Berry, right? Yeah. I think you should uh, video me the way I was filming. Yeah. Hey, listen, you got to laugh, okay? So I was with the camera rig, and I was like doing a Chuck Berry. <laughs> <laughs> Size plans. Here we have Smiley's Orchid. The wonderful world of Smiley. That's how I called call her. Classic cherry baby. Is there somewhere where I can? Then Drovium Pochellum. And there she is, attending to customers. For those new to the channel, you got to watch our videos. We have several videos out of Smiley Orchids, and this is one of them. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful video of the plants in full bloom. And there it is. Lecoste. There she is. Hi, Smiley. Hi, how you all doing? We're following you. All right. <laughs> how you doing? We almost sold out. <laughs> no, no, no. Sister you and... Today already? Sorry. I should have come earlier. So, tons of plants. So, tons of what? Tons of plants. We sold oh. a lot. Sister and brother today here? I mean, sister and husband. Sister and husband. Right Not here. today? They're out there. Oh, oh, they're hiding from us. I couldn't do it without them. <laughs> they have to be by side. <laughs> but then you crack the whip. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> this one, 160. This is beautiful. Look at this beauty here. Oh, yeah. Again, there are so many plants that we uh, have. We have a, a video of species only at Smiley's Orchids, and we probably feature these plants that they're either not in bloom, or they were in bloom and not in bloom now. I really uh, encourage you to watch those videos, and we thank you so much. Thank you for all the beautiful comments again. It means so much to us. Isn't this beautiful? This is a Meltonia. This plant we bought from Josh, the orchid den, and we have so many spikes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. This is the one you liked. This is the one you, uh, oh, you were yeah. crazy about at the Tampa Orchid Show. Yeah. Watch that video. Paraphalinopsis. And they're very fragrant. 
This is beautiful. Nell Hammer. MC Hammer? Yeah, <laughs> you're right. So let's see what other booths we have here. Oh, guess who? <laughs> Ritter Orchids. Yes. And guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Today we are not chit-chatting with uh, the vendors too much They're because very busy. this place is jamming. Yes, they're very, very busy. That's a good good thing for them. Yes. We are happy. Uh, it benefits everyone. Yes. Cynthia. That's a good that's a good that's a good sign when you're tapping into your reserves. That is very good. <laughs> nice. Very good. How is mom? She's good. She's good. She's good. She's good. today. Always send, send our regards. I will. Yeah, you'll see her in the Okay. Good, good. Hi, good. Patricia. How are you? Take care. Thank you, guys. Beautiful, beautiful um, show and a great weather. Yes. Yeah. Wow, look at this, babe. That's beautiful. What a nice, nice plant, right? Mm -hmm. So, Again, we have Cynthia here, Reader Orchids, mm -hmm. and um, I saw that plant before that we were showing you. Well, it, this it is nice. beautiful. So what is, is this Oncidium In related? The Oncidium family, Okay, yes. okay. Our Sierra is basically um, intergenerics, Oncidiums mixed together, okay. and somebody made a new one, and they named it after themselves or someone else. Okay. So now I have two plants here. I think yes. uh, they're the best. Mm -hmm. Which one do you think is the best? For me, I would pick this one just because he's growing here two ways. Okay. And that would mean at least two spikes for you okay. in November. Oh, November. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Usually this one, his blooming season is in the fall season, October, November. Okay. My sample is... Very late. <laughs> very late or very early? May right. <laughs> the half is full or yeah. or half full or half yeah. empty. <laughs> anyway, so the care. What do I do when we get home? So Oncidiums actually like a lot of water. We grow them in the sphagnum moss because we only water twice, about twice a week. Okay. So every three or four days. Yes. Okay. Um, if you can control your watering, sphagnum moss is good. But if you grow outside where <laughs> it rains, you, you have no control over the weather, um, you can do a mix of um, bark and moss okay or just full bark. okay it really depends on your environment okay okay yeah um so um <laughs> that takes care of the media mm -hmm. but repotting should we repot uh, this at this point repotting, um honestly i would wait until october november until it blooms then before repotting just because there is still some space for the plant if it does decide to put out a new shoot okay there's still space okay but yeah if you repot it stresses the plants out a little bit instead of spiking they decide to grow roots instead okay. so i always tell everyone wait until it flowers before you repot okay so right after they they bloom, and then, then repot. It's fallen off, then repot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because that's the time after the flowers are gone, they're baby making them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they make okay. new growth. Okay. And um, 
what uh, what kind of uh, pots? Uh, it, is a basket okay with moss? A uh, clay pot? Or? Well, it depends on your environment. If you're if you like to water frequently, um, moss with the basket with the holes is good because it'll dry the moss quickly, and okay. you water more frequently than twice a week. Okay. Then it's perfect. Okay. But if you only like to water as minimal as possible because I know some of us they like yeah. <laughs> less care no I'm one of those that is uh, water therapy or oh you uh, like you know, yeah like you like watering is therapy yes <laughs> yeah if you're one of those that like to water every day it would be better to do bark when you repot okay um although even right now if you're if you're gonna be uh, everyday water or every other day water um he has, she has very healthy roots. Oh, nice. Nice um, healthy roots. Yeah. Nice. You can take some of the moss out, not all of it. Okay. I don't I don't like disturbing, if the roots are this healthy, I don't like disturbing my roots. Okay. To be honest, because okay. it does stress the plant out a lot. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, you can repot with bark. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Excellent. Yeah, Cynthia, okay. thank you so much, as always, <laughs> okay? Yeah. So I'll put this one back. Purchase. Walking out of Ritter Orchids. First purchase. Next. Who do we have here? We haven't seen him before. I don't recall. This is a good size to do because the babies are like that's quite some piece of equipment. Wow. It is. I see a lot of flasks back there. Wow. This is the list here of the flasks that they have. Oh, nice. Let's see. This is neat. Yeah. And right here it says, down here they sell some species native to Dominican Republic and Florida. Nice. This is awesome. Hi, we are a YouTube channel. We are videoing. <laughs> this is nice. I, I haven't seen... What you Were you guys in uh, Tamiami? No, no. Okay, you don't mind being in the video? Okay. I'm Nancy, I'm the owner of Orchids, the owner of Orchids Dominicana. Nice. A microphone. <laughs> so are you out of uh, the Dominican Republic? Or Dominican you're the- Republic and that's my associate Steve Arthur is going to be our U.S. representative, Steve Arthur Orchids. And that way people can buy retail directly from us without having to buy a minimum of 200 plants, which is what we do right now. So I see the flask. Can you elaborate on the flasks? Yeah. Orchids are grown what we call in, in vitro, which means in glass. This is a native of the Dominican Republic. His, and the flowers look like this. This Hispaniola Hennekenia yeah. used to be Tolumnia. And these are just about blooming size. Oh my God. And they come out and they have a flower that looks like this and it's pollinated by a bee. It's a fairly rare one, but it's, it's a native of Hispaniola. Hispaniola, so uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to pause. I know a little bit of history. Hispaniola, uh, Christopher Columbus named uh, the island of Dominican Republic in Haiti, Hispaniola. Um, so, yes. Yeah, and Dominican Republic is the Spanish end, Haiti was the French end. Mm-hmm. Here's what we do with them. We mount them on a little bit of tree fern. Nice. Put them in a lot of light and they will bloom. This vanilla above you is also a native of the Dominican Republic. That's is vanilla. that right? OGI. Wow. But it's, it's, it has a very small leaf. 
This is a species. Yeah, it's a species. Most vanilla is vanilla platyfolia with a big leaf where we get the vanilla in. People don't realize vanilla is an orchid. Oh, I know. It's yes. a different flavor. Yeah. Wow. I do have a question since you said that you're based from uh, Dominican Republic. Do you ship worldwide or just in the U.S.? We ship worldwide. Not to the island. Because we have to either go through man, Miami or Panama. Frankly, uh, right now we prefer Panama because it's great for the U.S. to ship. There's more flights going through Panama. So if somebody's interested, um, the same um, information that uh, they can get from where we were showing your card. Yes. yes. Okay. And this is our other specialty are these. That's beautiful. Hybrid called Tolumnias. Okay, so let me let me pause right there. Tolumnias were on sediums and they were reclassified. So now these are. These are now. They were on sediums and then Tolumnias and now Hispaniola. In in this particular case. This, this species, yes. Okay. This okay. is the only species in this genus. Oh, nice. Yes. So um, another question: We buy the flask, and I know that. It's going to be a little bit of a shock, or correct me if I'm wrong. A little bit. Uh, right. What I do is, on any flask, I take the lid off, usually let it sit a day to let it air, and then I either break the bottle or just pull all the plants out, rinse the agar off, and then put them in a community pot. And these even, you can rinse the agar off and let them sit a couple days, and they harden up a little, makes them a little tougher before we mount them like that. All right. Or put them in a pot. Okay. So tree fern uh, is ideal? Or cork or a cedar, cedar shake. These are what they call twig epiphytes. In nature, they grow on a stick, like, like a little mango stick. Or an orange blossom. And they have the leaves are in, under the shade of the bush. And they put their flowers out into the sun. And they attract pollinators. Wow. Okay. So, guess what? We are taking one of those. Yes. Yes. You know how we love species. And you know what's so funny? She mentions the pollinator, and it so happens that the pollinator made honey right next door. Yes. They have little. They have some honey next. Yeah. Here's another native one. It gets the flower like this. These will grow almost in full sun. They get about you know, 10 times bigger than this. These are recently out of the bottle. And so this is a couple of years investment in your time. Yeah. So this is a better idea to buy it like this? If it's your first time growing that species, I would start with the biggest plant you can get of that species and work your way down. Okay. okay. Because we've taken all the risk out. I have probably killed half of what I take out of plants. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what's the best medium. No, I'll get a bag for you. Now, and the other native we have is the ruthless brand right here. Do I want to? This is another native, Tetramica cataliculata. Wow. And we have those in bundles. These also grow stuck on trees. When you see an orchid that has a very narrow leaf like this, you know it can take high light. Because if you figure what the footprint of light it's very small, so it can take a lot of light. Nice. Wow. And my favorite and my specialty are these psychopsis. Oh, this is beautiful. And I when you see the NMX, that's Nancy Mountford Cross. And that is Psychopsis papilia. And that's a native species. And this is a very unusual species. And the alba form is very rare. This is a geek collector sort of thing. But one advantage of these, they grow similar to Phalaenopsis. Not super bright and a little damp. But when they finally bloom, they stay in bloom for a long time. They just flower, then they go away. Then a flower. And I've had them in bloom for like three years. Wow. The same wow. Now, a question. This is yellow, but it says alba. And I know alba is lack of, lack of well, color. Well, that's. It should be orium, actually. But they consider this the, the, the alba version. Right, thank you. Okay. And that's as white as they get. They're not white. Okay. It's an alba form of this. 
see. The, the popular the name, guys, is uh, butterfly orchid. Butterfly orchid. Yeah, which is which is not. I, I heard that it's not, but it's since it's pap uh, papilio. Papilio. That means butterfly. Which right. Mariposa. Is the right. Butterfly. Right. This is one of the orchids that was found in like Trinidad and Tobago like 200 years ago and it really started the orchid craze and some of these ended up in England and they found these wild looking flowers. It was this Psychopsis. Mm -hmm. And these are our own hybrids, they're not just the same clone that everybody has. I see. So if you get one, that everyone's different. Yes. Now the three can you pick different ones or? Yeah. Okay. Any three of these? Sorry, we'll call you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That's a that's a good good deal. Yeah, good deal. We have the other native one is the nocturnum down there. Epidendrum nocturnum. And uh, I take it that. It used I'm to be a Florida native, but they got wiped out. So we're remaking these. Oh. For anybody who wants one that grows in Florida. Oh my God. Do you know nice. the reason that they were wiped out? Mostly over collecting, which is most over collecting or loss of habitat. Yes, that's what does it mean. Yeah. And nocturnum is because they bloom at night? Uh, they're fragrant at night. Oh, okay. Like a brassa ball uh, type of thing. Right. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Do they have different uh, colors? Different. Yeah, they're all green and white. They pretty much all look alike. Okay. And they okay. self-pollinate and make seed pods, and then they broadcast all over the place, and then you get more babies growing. Oh wow! Nice. So this is this top is like we got to pick several ones. Hit that green water or See it out here. I thought you guys all ramp up and then popped up. <laughs> no, no. We uh, covered that place a couple of times, so this was more important to us. Beautiful show. We lived here for so many years and we never came to the haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this beauty here. Isn't that cool? Yeah. They blue crazy, right? They're on the tree. So you, 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 you won't do anything new. You just put it back to the way it's supposed to be. But uh, there's a problem when you hang stuff on a tree. Well, hang on a tree is different than mounting on the tree. Okay? When you mount it on something, you rely on that thing to be have enough light, have enough watering, and have enough air movement. When you grow in a pot, you have full control of that. You follow what I'm saying? So that's why a lot of people grow on a pot, so you, you can move them too. So say you sell your house, then you gotta have a crowbar out there to dig everything up. Yeah, right? But uh, but some people enjoy the natural thing they put on a, on, on a tree. It's very natural, very beautiful. Actually. So it's pretty diverse, you know, but the plant can be in that pot for a couple of years. Hey guys, we finally did it, okay? Um, we got, show it, tack puller, videographer. We switched jobs now, okay? And um, we got this from Spring Waters Orchids. And this is the small version. And this is a beautiful plant. Um, this can be here according to uh, Tong uh, for a couple of years. And look, this is what I, I've been calling Dali, okay, because of the mustache. I hope you all know Dali, famous painter, always with the mustache like this. Anyway, isn't this a beauty? Another one buys the dust. Vicky approved. <laughs> Let's keep on going. Pops, Hoyas. Never seen in 30 years. So, say, just for the time, we're going to get this plant because they don't grow there. I don't know. What's that? Right in there. 
can they, can they, uh, can you ship in the Cuba? Like, like you order pads online? No, no, I don't no, think no. now, but no. we have it there because I have it. Look at this, them. look at this flower. It's beautiful. Look at this. I was wondering how they do that. I was just looking at it. it. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. On the sunlight, I, I'm trying to get the sunlight. Look at that. It's beautiful. Is that beautiful or what? Oh yeah, shirt. I just came up. Look at that. I want that shirt. Wow. Look at hers. I love her shirt. That is a beautiful, beautiful plant. Beautiful. This is another beauty. But what's good about this one is it flowers almost constantly. It's totally out of flower, so it's it's great for that. It's the easiest one to grow. That's beautiful. One of those or uh, you want another bag? Oh, no, Pretty. It has some like yellow. Oh, it's so beautiful. You will double check that for me, please. How beautiful this is. Pink and yellow. Thank you. Thanks for being patient, Tori. Try to wrap them up as carefully as possible. No, you're fine. I prefer that. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. Now I'm looking at it closer with my glasses. It's just so beautiful. All right, guys, we are at Pop Hoyas and we found this jewel. And your name, please. My name is David Schofield for Pops Hoyas. And uh, we wanted to ask, at this point we get home, uh, do we repot it uh, at one point? This plant actually could be repotted, which I was going to do after this show, and do a hanging basket of like a six inch basket. You never go big size on a lot of these Hoyas. They don't like oh, big pots. Okay. So only go to the next size up. This is a five inch pot, so you go okay. to the six inch pot next. Okay. And that's okay. it. Don't go any higher than that for quite a while, probably for years. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. They and like small what, pots. What medium uh, would you use? I make my own mix. Okay. Now, um, I use Coco Car, which is C-O-I-R. Okay. I use what they call Leica, which is the little the pellets, the, yeah. the, the clay pellets. I use coarse perlite. And I use uh, bark, and then I mix all that in there. With it's three parts of all that to one part uh, worm casting. Okay. Worm casting works really good for hoyas. Okay. And that's what I do. All right. So, and then that's I just mix all that together, and that's how I pot them all up. And I'm I'm sorry, so we're video. Sorry, sorry. And we're in Central Florida. That's okay. It's okay. You're famous now. My sister actually lives in Ocala. Okay, oh, we're not we're neighbors. Okay, right? We're even Leesburg. Oh, there you go. All right, now she's got the, the typical red one you see over there. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like uh, of that, and hers is is literally on a heart trellis that a friend gave her. She, I told her to take that, put the, hang the plant right in the center of that trellis, and now that whole trellis is totally covered with that hoya. Only three years ago, that's how fast that grows. Oh wow. And her plant, she calls me up every couple of months. It's always in bloom. And just she's just ecstatic and how how uh, how many flowers are on it. So that would do equally as well. You would I would recommend that you move it somewhere in the in the cooler the warmer areas during the winter months. Okay. Because they don't like the frost. Okay. So you definitely have to what, move it in. Which temperature would you? Uh... I, I I I freak out when I hit 40. So okay. <laughs> so okay. now she doesn't move hers in until she hits low upper. Low, let's say low 40s. Yeah. Okay. Then she'll okay. move hers in. All right. Okay. All right. Because okay. here I freak out when we hit like 45. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, so yeah. And then again, this is uh, what. Uh, this is called this is called pubicalyx golden. Uh, I'm sorry, pubicalyx royal Hawaiian purple. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flowers. It actually is actually considered one of my all-time favorite hoyas. First of all, for the ease of it. And the color of that flower is just amazing. Yes. And, yeah. and mind you, this flower is small compared to what the, the big cluster will get when it yeah. gets big enough. Wow. And this is in dire need of being repotted. Okay. So awesome. definitely get it in a bigger pot for sure. Right. Um, I would do it when you get home after it's blooming. 
When it's finished blooming, move it and do another pot. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Um, you sell your own mix? Or? I do, but I don't have any here, but I do that at my house. Okay. I just All didn't right. have room to bring it. That's your sister sells it? What's that? <laughs> your no, sister? no, no. <laughs> yeah, no. All right. Uh, you can go online. I order a lot of my stuff from Amazon. Okay. Um, okay. I also now buy wholesale through the nursery that I used to own that I sold. So I still have, they let me uh, re, uh, buy wholesale through them. Okay. So that's okay. how I get a lot of my stuff. Well, we have this in video. Uh, yes. We know about your mix, so we'll take it from here. All right. And Thanks um, so much. My question You're that I always ask the vendors, do you sell online and do you sell in the U.S. or out of the U.S.? I sell only in the U.S. Okay. And I won't do it in the winter months because I don't want to fool around with the, the hot packs and all that, the heat packs. So, uh, but yes, otherwise I do throughout the, the year, yeah. Okay. You have yeah. a business card? So yes. So we can, uh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. So we'll put it in um, yeah. on this page. Now the new phone number is in the back. Okay. Yeah, the one in the front is no longer, it's obsolete, okay? Okay. This is the new phone number. And I also have a QR code if you want to scan a QR yes. card. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you, Thank right, you again so much. so much. Oh, we have to pay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> guys, what a beautiful show. It is amazing. Look at this cacti. Wow, this is amazing. We have orchids. Look at this. Look at this wow. cactus. Wow, this is amazing. Wow. Nice vendors. Oh, look. Look what we uh, find here. Oh, yeah. so this, is the other one. this product, guys, we have, we have purchased several of these baskets. Uh, watch the video at the Tamiami International Orchid Show and the one in Wellington. We interview the owners, the creators, the designers, very nice people. Really, really, really recommend this product. And I'm happy that um, she found uh, people to uh, vendors to sell their products. Vicky is loaded. I'm taking everything. Look at this. Peace, brother. <laughs> yes, guys. Many of these vendors, we follow each other, okay? Or wh wh whatever, however you want to put it. Follow them. This is bred in orchids. Again, if you haven't watched the video on uh, uh, Phil Hamilton talking about the care of Phalaenopsis, everything Phalaenopsis. Has beautiful novelty fowls. This is the one we got from him at Flamingo Gardens Orchid Show. We got a couple of plants from him, watch that video. Good to see you. Yes. Same. Happy selling. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the lovely day in the park. Yes, thank you. Hi, Phil. Hey, guys, how are you? Where is your better half? <laughs> oh, okay. That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. What's new? Anything new? Mm, I don't think so. No, no. From last weekend, yeah, <laughs> too soon. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, what do we have there? Ilara Marfitch. Okay, but beautiful, beautiful plants, beautiful plants. 
Yeah. Very nice. Nice healthy plants. Oh, it's so I have a couple of one-off items that I haven't yeah, I had for a have, while. I, I uh, to, this so is I a hybrid of mine. Of it off and I we released a handful to, uh, of plants, so that's one of them. The and then the this is an older hybrid of my dad's that we haven't had for a while either. So. Uh -huh. What kind of thing is this? I got it when a friend Hello. of mine broke off a chunk of Yes, Dad. Phil was saying that this is uh, the hybrid and they haven't had this in a while. Uh, they have uh, music over there. We are not going to go there because we don't want to be shut down by YouTube. And But look at the beautiful, beautiful gardens. Like we said before, we paid for both the orchid show and uh, the tour of the house. Yes. And it's got a mixture of uh, uh, Spanish, um, you know, Sevilla with, uh, you know, the Roman courts. And it's just beautiful. Yes. Guys, if you want to find out more about the history of the place, look it up online. Uh, we don't want to make this video a lot longer than this. And I know you all like uh, pretty much orchids only, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. But just to give you a glimpse, we'll, uh, you know, video around a little bit yeah. and finish up with uh, their orchids. Yeah. All right, let's do it. This is so beautiful. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the uh, ocean is right there. And you see uh, a ship coming in. I think it's a cargo ship. That's Fort Lauderdale Beach. You want to ride a camel? <laughs> we need a camel now. We are loaded up. This is a little diabolic, right? I That's know. how you can say it? Yeah. yeah. A little bit <laughs> weird. <laughs> this is us when we can afford buying more plants. <laughs> <laughs> And this is us when we found what we were looking for, plus. Let's go for more orchids. Here, here is our friend Carlos from Offy, and he's swamped. Uh, he's also uh, selling those uh, baskets from Vina plant, or 
Vena planters, right? Great, great baskets. Check out our video from Offy in Hampstead, Florida. And the man in action. Carlos, you're jamming, I know. Good, good thing, good thing. I love seeing this line here. <laughs> we have Maestro Hiko here, Hiko Bonsai's. He does beautiful, beautiful bonsai's. And I have to stay away from here because of the music. Guys, this is Saroa Orchids and uh, owner Jose, he's a veteran, okay? He's been around for a long time. He's um, about my age uh, and he's been doing this for a long time. We've known of Saroa Orchids since the 1990s when Vicky was a little girl. No. <laughs> And I was a grown-up already, and but we didn't know each other, obviously, and we used to go to all these shows in Miami, uh, Coconut Grove, um, the Redlands, when you had to go uh, hopping from place to place and they punch a card. Uh, now it's all different. Speaking about the Redlands, we're gonna be at the Redlands um, in May next month already so yeah check out our video uh, from Saroa Orchids and Celia um, Celia is not in the video but Celia is a beautiful beautiful person great customer service and we really really recommend this place this plan was just sold it's a 14 year old plan with KK's Obviously, it's got tessellata in the background, beautiful fra uh, fragrance. But anyway, I was, I love this, I love this plant holder, if you can call it, plant holder. It's got this dendrobium growing on it, I love it. Hey guys, I'm looking at these plants here and at Soroa Orchids. This is a bargain, okay? Jose is saying that these plants on the nursery are $125. Look at the price um, that he has them here. These are 14 year old plants, sun loving orchids, $60 each, or you buy two for 100. That's a steal, okay? So I'm trying to pick the best plant here the best uh, root system um, he was showing. Look at this, look at this. He was saying spike, 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 spike. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. So let's pick the best plant here. They are all great. And I mean, you know, this is, it's very hard, very hard, very hard. Um, I'll try to pick one with the best root system. And I think the flowers are pretty much gone, but that's all right. It's all right. Every time I pick one, it's like, it's better than the other one. So, yeah, this is this is hard. Guys, I think, I think, I think, I think I found a winner. Um, you know, I think uh, this plant has new roots. 
as you can see right here. I think uh, this is a good plant and it's fairly young. So I think this is the winner. Again, the flowers are gone pretty much, but like I said, spike, spike, spike. So pretty much we're gonna have a spike. Uh, spike. And I have to ask him, but I think this is a species, I think, I think. Don't quote me on it. I'm gonna ask, but this uh, is behind other hybrid orchids or hybrid bandit, bandits. So let's check it out. See, I, I think I picked uh, a good plant here. I see new roots. Yes, excellent. Uh, yeah. And you it's, have plenty yep, of roots. Yep. Yeah. And is this the right tag? Ren Renanthera Bangkok beauty. Okay. Yes. Is it a species? No, I this is a hybrid. Okay. Yes. But this is this is um, in the background of many other hybrids. Renanthera correct? is in the background of many other hybrids. Yeah. Uh, they're usually used for breeding to produce bright red flowers with many flowers and branching in the spikes. Okay. These plants are in the Vanda family that people are familiar with Vanda, but Vandas are a vast group. You have Rancostylus, Irides, Renantheras, many different uh, types. Okay. So this is one of them, Renantheras. Awesome. So what do I do when I get home? Well, you have different options. You can attach this directly to a tree where they will get bright light, but no direct, direct sun. Okay. Especially the west sun, you're trying to avoid it. Okay. When you attach it to a tree, you want to make sure that the roots are in direct contact with the tree or the host, a piece okay. of driftwood or tree fern, okay. and do not put any moss or anything between the tree and the plant. Okay. You want the roots in direct contact. Okay. You can also put it on a pot, on okay. a terracotta pot, okay. with bark, and other herb. Yes, okay. because the plant is going to grow tall. There's low growers. This plant is about 14, 15 years old wow. already. Wow. And it produces kikis also like they don't produce as many kikis as other varieties of pandas okay. but as the plant grows taller and produces roots you can cut the top plant it and then the bottom sometimes produces kikis awesome great all right we're lucky lucky enough to have jose jose is the owner of soroa orchids and the founder of this show well, not the founder. Okay. Actually, the show has been going on for 15 years. I became the orchid curator seven years ago. Uh, what I did that was different from the shows prior to that is um, I grew the show um, and it has become the largest international orchid uh, plant event in Broward County. Um, when I started the show, the maximum attendance to the show was about 2,500 people. Last year, we got 6,200 people in two days. Wow. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Great. And many more to come, all right? Yes, absolutely. So if you're missing it this year, make sure that you come next year. It's usually the first weekend in April every year. And not only you have thousands of orchids, many of very rare varieties that you will not find in other places, but we have vendors from other countries too that do not participate in other shows. We have live music, incredible, talented entertainers. For those of you that like a little mimosa or Bloody Mary beer, we have that as well, and all types of food as well. So it is a full day. We welcome everybody. Bring your kids, they will enjoy it. And the Bonnet House itself is a unique place to visit. There's no other place like that in South Florida. A house that is over 100 years old in its original condition. All the furniture, the art, 
the kitchen with the old stove from the 1930s, the eye box that you have to put the block of ice. It's an incredible place and a historical place. Awesome. So come and, and visit. You're going to be at the Redlands next month. I am going to be at the Redland. I'm one of the founders of the Redland show. I was vice president, past president, and I'm still on the board. And that is the largest orchid event in the United States. So I thought it was Tamiami, but the Redlands. Uh, Redlands and always the third weekend in May, the weekend after Mother's Day. Easy to remember. Awesome. We'll say thank so you we'll so much. So we'll see you there. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you so much. We misbehave. <laughs> anyway, this has been the perfect day. It's, we, we had to do this, guys. I am so happy we made the decision to come to South Florida and cover this event. Yeah. This is a beautiful event. We really, really recommend it. Please come next year. And I mean, this is like beautiful, okay? So uh, with that being said, beautiful location. Beautiful weather. Yeah. I mean, you know, you have the beach if you're a snowbird or, you know, you don't mind getting in the water when it's cold. We don't. We don't. We wait until like May is pushing it, but we are tropical people. Yeah. With that being said, please, please subscribe yeah. to Vicky's Likes. <laughs> Sergio, my husband, Vicky right here. Remember, always leave a comment because we love to leave the comments. Like, subscribe if you haven't done so. And Thank you to all the subscribers, the viewers that we uh, encountered today. Thank oh, you yeah. for the future subscribers because we are handing uh, out our business card. And yeah, so this is it, guys. Can I have a kiss? Of course. <laughs> Thank Bye. you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>